Hey y'all, y'all come on in. I'm Elisa and today I am making a key lime pie. But before we get started, like, share, subscribe. Let's get started with this key lime pie. All right y'all, so let's get started. In the bowl, I have one and one half cup of cookie crumbs. The cookies I use, I did not use graham crackers. I use these cookies. I use just enough to make one and a half cup of crumbs. And then you will need six tablespoons of melted butter. And you can use one third cup of sugar, but I'm using cookies. So I will not use one third cup of sugar if you want to use one third cup of sugar then instead of using a one and a half cup of cookies use one and a half cup of graham crackers that's when you need the sugar so that's the option for you i just decided i like this flavor so much better so there's no need for sugar the sugar in the cookies so what we're going to do we're just going to mix all that in together And we're going to press this into a pie plate, pie pan, whatever you have. Eight inch or nine inch. I have a nine inch. So I'm just going to mix this all up and then press it in. All right. So here's my nine inch cake, uh, pie plate. I sprayed it with Baker's Joy. I probably didn't need to considering that the crumbs has butter in it. But it's a force of habit. Make enough cake, you spray everything. So... I just sprayed the pie plate too. Won't hurt anything. So after we get this all pressed down, you're going to put it in the oven at 375 for seven minutes. Now, if you want to do this part no bake, just set it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours and just let it sit. I've done that before. Yeah, I got my sister over here. She's sitting out there in the peanut gallery. Say, hey, peanut gallery. Hello, peanut gallery. All right, y'all, I'm about to put this in the oven. I, and like I said, I will bake it at 375 for seven minutes. All right, y'all, it's time to make the key lime pie filling. But here's the crust. It baked for seven minutes, cooled for 30. So it's ready to go. So to make the, the filling, we need two cans of sweetened condensed milk to equal 28 ounces. It comes out so slow. All right, I'm gonna keep on adding that to it. But in the meantime, three quarter cup of key lime juice. And I'm gonna show you guys the brand that I bought so you'll have an idea. Nelly and Joe. This is what I used. And a uh, half a cup of sour cream. And the zest of two limes. So the good way to zest the lime. My lime is bald. So I bought a micro I have a microplane. <laughs> Y'all ignore her. And you just run it across the green part to get the zest off until you get to the white. So I did that with both of them. <laughs> My is bold. <laughs> so I'm just going to mix that all up together with the wire whisk. All right, I have all the ingredients mixed in, the three-quarter cup of key lime juice, two cans of sweetened condensed milk, 
half a cup of sour cream. If you want to lighten it up, get the light kind. And zest from two limes. We're going to mix, mix, mix. All that zest does is kick up the flavor a little bit more. It just a punch of that tart. I can't even pop my lips out to do it. But it just makes it real, um, real tart but sweet from the sweetened condensed milk. So it's just going to be a, a mouthful of wonderfulness once it's ready. And you see how quickly that came together? Don't take much. I thought I was going to need a whisk. I mean, a, actually a hand mixer. Did not need one. All right, so we have our cooled off pie crust. Look at it. All right, so while I'm letting this get into the pan, bake it, 350, seven minutes. See y'all in a second. Oops, sorry y'all. Well, it's, it's in the pie pan. I said seven minutes at 350. It's actually 10 minutes at 350. All right, y'all, so the pie is out of the oven. That's been 10 minutes. So I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit, and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to let it cool for three hours. But we're gonna try to cheat, y'all. After, after the pan cooler, because it is glass, you don't wanna put the glass pan directly out of the heat and then into the freezer. It's gonna shatter and gonna have all kinds of problems. So I'm gonna let this cool off for a little bit, and I'm gonna put it in the freezer to set, so I put it in the refrigerator to set for three hours. I don't wanna wait that long. So let's hope. I don't leave it in the freezer too long. Then it's going to have ice crystals. I'll be back once it's time to take it out of the freezer. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and make the whipped cream for our key lime pie. So to get started with that, we need one cup of heavy whipping cream. making a mess up on the sides here. So we need one cup of heavy whipping cream. And oops, I left some behind. And to that, one half cup of powdered sugar. And we're just gonna beat that. So I did put my beaters in the freezer just to get them a little cool. That way to help them mix up quicker. So we just want to get this to stiff peaks. Starting to thicken up. We're going to keep beating. have our stick stiff peaks you see that right there those are already look stiff so we need stiff peaks and then we are going to add in some vanilla I need one teaspoon of vanilla then we just want to beat that in real quick Those peaks are maintaining their shape, even in the bowl. Let's see if we can get a spoon. Look how that moves around. Just like regular old whipped cream you buy in the store. Look at that. It's ready to go. I'll be back when I add this to the pie. All right, y'all, so the pie is out of the freezer. It was in there for an hour. So we're going to try it out to see if that was long enough in an hour in the freezer as opposed to three hours in the refrigerator. So here's our whipped cream. So I'm going to put that on there. Make it look pretty.
All right, y'all. There's some whipped cream. Let's give it a taste. All right, y'all. The pie is out of the freezer. It was in there for an hour. We're gonna see if it's set enough or not because uh, I got a little excited. And plus, you know, why not experiment on time when you put it in the freezer? So let's give it a cut and let's see what we get. Well, it cuts like it's set. Okay, so far so good. Probably should have used a knife for this part, but it's okay. Get around. <gasps> Look at that. How good can y'all see that? This was in, a, in the freezer, refrigerator freezer now for one hour. Look how pretty it cut. It set just right. So that means, y'all, if you on a crunch for time and you don't want to wait three hours, freezer, one hour, you'll be good to go. And you're popping your lips. <laughs> <laughs> because you just have to, you have to pause for the cause of the key lime pie. I'm going to finish. Y'all go make some, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.